So it's that time of year again. iPhone season comes iPhone reviews and with every iPhone 12 Pro Max video this year, I'm pretty sure you've seen this promotion or marketing from at least one big YouTuber. Roll it. Is the power brick that I've been using from Anchor. It is the Nano. Anchor was cool enough to sponsor today's video and send over a charging kit. Faster charging Anchor Nano which costs less while still. And if you've seen that, that means that Anchor and other third party manufacturers are buying their way into YouTuber videos just to get that snazzy little few dollars for their accessories. I feel like I've been blacklisted from Anchor at this point. But the point is the third party market is starting to boom because Apple is not including a charger in the box. That means third parties are gonna get a big, big boost and you're probably looking for a new charger yourself. Now, I wanna disclaim this video is not, I repeat, is not sponsored, is not endorsed by anybody. This is just me, so I'm just letting that be known right now. But I've been looking for a brand new charger, not just for my new iPhone 12 Pro Max, but also been looking for a heavy duty charger for my MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and other products that I possibly have around. And today I'm gonna to take a look at that because today I found the Aki 100 watt power delivery dual USB-C wall charger. And we're gonna unbox this thing, we're gonna compare it. I have a few chargers here to compare it to in terms of size and weight, but also I'm gonna take a look and see why I think that is personally, in my opinion, the best USB-C charger you could pick up that money can buy you. So let's take a look at the unboxing and I'll explain to you why I recommend it. So without further ado, let's get it going on the table. I also have the MacBook Pro charger, the 87 watt to be exact. I know Apple specced it up to 96 watts, but I still have the 87 watt. I also have the Samsung 45 watt USB-C charger. So we're gonna take a look and see how they compare, but this is what it comes in the box. Pretty standard at this point. I think, I think these companies, when they do this kind of packaging, it, it just, it looks so, how would I put it into words? It, it just, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I just wish they had a little bit more color instead of the cardboard crap. All right, there we go. We'll throw that to the side. Unboxing presentation, ooh, it comes in a little sleeve. So let's take a look at this and wow, okay. Now, first impressions, this is 100 watts? This is no way. This thing is incredibly small for 100 watts. I really am actually kind of interested to see if this thing really is, but that's the, I'm kind of shocked. It's light, I mean, it's got some weight to it, but you know, compared to the, the Samsung 45 watt, you take a look at this. I gotta say they're virtually identical in terms of size, but Yaki is just a slight bigger and a little bit heavier, but you could see there's more tech inside of it. And the MacBook Pro, obviously they're very close, but I say this is more heavier, but this thing is so much more slimmer. Just look at that, that is incredible. I'm actually kind of curious myself to see how this thing holds up. Now, of course, it does support Power Delivery 3.0. It also has some kind of new technology called GAN, which is supposed to be more efficient. It helps with faster charging and also reduces less heat and all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of interesting that they are kind of putting the current gen technology in their bricks, but it's actually kind of cool. All right, so on the table here, just to kind of give you a somewhat small demonstration, I have the Aki uh, brick plugged into this extender just because I couldn't reach the outlet. And I have here two cables. I have the USB-C to lightning cable for the iPhone and a USB-C to USB-C for the MacBook and iPad Pro. Now I'm gonna show you this, how it works and explain it, but just something quickly I wanted to point out and I gotta give Aki a little bit of credit here. When you plug it in, it has a light indicator to give you an indication that this thing works. And I do like that because sometimes you can't tell if your brick works or not. So I do like the fact that they give you an indicator of if it's working and then we'll see if it changes color as we plug it in. So now that this thing is 100 watts, you can plug in obviously your iPhone and when you plug it in, it can charge up super fast. Now, of course, the iPhone's taken 18 to 20 watts of fast charging. So because this is a 100 watt brick, you should have no problem charging this up. And if we plug it into something like the iPad Pro, which I'm going to open up for just a second, that begins charging as well. Now the indicator doesn't change color. Now notice it did swap for a second. So let me explain a little bit and then I'll swap it over to the MacBook Pro. But basically the way that this technology works is that because it uses power delivery, it will be able to send the right amount of wattage for what your phone or tablet or computer is able to take in. The maximum output will be scanned in, of course, by using power delivery and the technology inside of the Aki br uh, brick. But most of all, if you're using a multi-end device, so for example, if you plug in an iPad and an iPhone, you'll get the maximum output because it will be able to not only handle both devices, but it doesn't have to max it out. However, if you're gonna use something like a MacBook Pro, there are a couple of things you need to take into effect. 
So we're gonna swap it over to the MacBook, but the first thing you should be aware is the MacBook, if you're plugging it in by itself, it will get the full wattage charge. You don't have to worry about it plugging in or whatever. I'm gonna open it up here so we can see when it starts charging. It also, so you see my username, but boom, it starts plugged in. Now, of course, it does take a few seconds, but it is good to go. Now, like I said, if you're plugging this in all by itself, it will charge, no problem. It'll get the full speed that it is capable of charging. But if you plug in something like the iPhone or a, a tablet or another MacBook, it will divide the wattage up to 45 watts per device, the maximum output. So it won't get the full 100, but it'll divide the power delivery evenly for all the devices. So I just wanted to throw that in there, but that's kind of how it looks. And just realistically quickly, just to kind of show one more time, I'm gonna plug back in the iPhone and it will be able to separate the power delivery for both devices evenly and perfectly. As you just heard, it is being able to separate and send the power to both devices. All right, you've heard me talk, you've heard me ramble, you've pretty much been saying, okay, what is the point? Why did you recommend this? And why are you saying this is the best Aki brick, but also the best brick to buy? Well, it's simple. For number one, versatility. The fact that you get two USB-C ports able to output 45 watts max if you're charging two devices, depending on a MacBook or whatever, that's just some of the reasons. But the main reason why I recommend this is portability. I think that it has a high amount of wattage. It won't over throw your device. It has temperature cooling regulator. It helps to protect from surge and also, because it has power delivery built right in, I think that this brick, again, all third-party bricks and even OEM bricks are gonna have that protocol in there. But when you go to third-party, you do get a little bit back versus going with the OEM. Now the OEM, of course, it is certified to give you the best experience, but sometimes going the third party can save you a few dollars and also gives you a lot for the money. Look at it this way, $79 versus $50. For $79, you do get a USB-C high power wattage brick for your MacBook or iPad, but that comes at a cost of only one port. And also there is an advantage with the swappable, but of course it can be flimsy and over time it can kind of break down. Whereas with Aki, you get not only two ports, you get 100 watts, and because it has your power delivery 3.0, you're gonna be pretty much future-proof, I think for now. And also, I just kind of appreciate these foldable prongs. I just, that's just a me thing. But basically my final thoughts on the Aki brick for me, because Aki is reputable and reliable when it comes to third party accessories, I have no doubt recommending this, not just to regular users, because this is a big step up. You're paying $50 for a charging brick. But in return, not only do you have a fast charging brick, you get two ports on here, so you can simultaneously charge multiple devices, but most of all, you have the right amount of wattage to take advantage of any other device you're gonna use. So if you have a MacBook or an iPad or an iPhone, you're basically proof. You could use this one brick to charge them all. And for me, I like the fact that Aki gives this availability. I would like to see more ports on it and I'm willing to pay an extra few. Now for some people, this may not be the brick for you. You can get your singular if you're only gonna use one device. But sometimes you're gonna have multiple devices that use USB-C or in the case, maybe a guest or somebody that has an iPhone. So at the end of the day, there are a lot of bricks out there. There are a lot of other products that can do the job just as fine. But for me, based on my experience and based on just knowing Aki, the brand itself, I highly recommend their new Omnia charger, the 100 watt power delivery brick. This is my suggestion, my personal favorite. And I am going out on a limb and saying this is the best USB-C brick that I have used and probably the best USB-C brick of 2020. Now again, that's just my opinion. You are free to disagree with that. And if you know any other bricks, let me hear your suggestions and I'll check them out. But that is the Aki Omnia. Again, I've already stated a lot of information about them. If you're interested in picking it up, I will leave a link in the description. Again, no affiliation, nothing whatsoever, just the Amazon link to get it and out. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Hope for my videos as well. As always everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care and 